Hello, it's Linda from Sticky With Glitter here and I'm here to say to share another project with you. It's not a mini album this time, um, something along the same vein. Um, I made a waterfall folio. I used um, papers from Peon Design Shoreline Treasures for this because I had some um, leftover papers in my stash and also because I had a piece to make for Deep Ocean Challenge um, for which the theme was maritime so I thought these papers would be perfect for that as they are maritime themed and I decided I wanted to add a coloured image as well to the front so I chose this image uh, from Saturated Canary, it is a digi and she's called Vintage Swim and the reason I chose her was because I thought she matched in rather well with one of the images on the paper, which I'll show you later, and I actually coloured her to match. Kind of. So she's coloured with, I'll just bring her a bit closer to the camera so you can see, she's coloured with um, Distress Ink markers, so with watercolour inks. And I used my Posca um, acrylic, white acrylic pen, to add some spots to the swimming hat and also to the piping on the costume. And I have linked the colours that I've used to colour her in on my blog if you're interested. Also on my blog I've linked the items that I've used today. So I've used several dyes from La La Land Crafts and the birds and the ship's wheel and the anchor um, are two sets of dies that are currently available from Dice to Die For. The sea theme stuff, the seaweed, the seahorses and the starfish, they were from a, a club kit. Um, and I know they've just released the mermaid from that club kit, the stamp, um, in their new release. And I did forget to check whether the um, the dies were released then as well but I will check that out for you and if they are available I'll put the link along with the other links on my blog for you so if you're interested in anything that I've used here today uh, the majority of it will be on my blog with links to the products in the stores um, apart from the chipboard which I just buy wherever I can get it so it is a, <clears throat> a chipboard base and then it's wrapped uh, with the papers and I did use a tutorial from um, my sister Scrapper, yes yet again, um, because they're just so easy to follow. Um, but I did change it up a little bit, I made the spine a little bit wider, I think I added an extra, um, an extra flap or two to the waterfall and also I changed the pocket on the front cover. I did make it first as it was, um, my prototype so to speak, um, but then I, when I made this one I did change things up a little bit. But they are very, very easy to make. And in fact if you weren't doing the, the stamping and colouring and die cutting and were just using the papers, you know, you could really make it in, in a couple of hours really. Okay, so it measures <clears throat> eight and a half inches by four and a half inches, and the original did have a three quarter of an inch spine, but I just increased that to an inch um, just to allow for anything on the inside. Probably didn't need to, in fact, but um, I wanted to use some charms inside, and I wasn't quite sure how big they were going to be, so I wanted to allow for that. Currently, I've left the back plain, but I may I may add something to the back. I'm not sure. And then on the spine I've used uh, We Are Memory Keepers eyelet here and threaded some chain through and then added some various um, charms to fit the theme. So I've got a little pearl here, I've got a little starfish charm, so if you can see that in focus there. There's a ship's wheel, there's an angel fish there. And then a ship's anchor as well. 
Okay, and they just dangle off the side and I thought they looked kind of nice. And when we open it up, you can see that we've got the waterfall on the right hand side here. And there is space in here for a fair few photos, so a little collection of photographs. And they will take um, 4x4 photographs without very much trimming at all. The actual size of the base is 4x4 and the matting is three and three quarters by three and three quarters so you can fit almost a, a full size four by four on there just a, just a minimal amount of trimming and I use various papers from the collection a lot of them were um, as I say leftovers from where I'd made cards and things and that's the nice thing about one of these waterfall folios you can use a lot of your um, leftovers really um, things that are not really big enough to use on a card that you don't want to throw them away and you've kept them and don't know what to do with them well this is an ideal project um, you will need um, a couple of sheets of 12 by 12 paper to do the wrapping but you will have some paper left over from from the inside particularly that you can use for other bits <clears throat> and I just used a bit of um, plain ivory card stock here for the, the strips in between each flap, I actually used the borders uh, from the same collection, which made it very easy. I didn't have to measure and cut strips. They were pretty much um, a perfect size for that. And I have edged, I don't know if I already said, I've edged all my, uh, inked all my edges with walnut stain to give it a bit of a, a vintage look. So, if you weren't covering up the front here, and I didn't embellish the front simply because it had this lovely picture of this dragonfly, and I used a little dragonfly charm, and there's a little dragonfly on the tag over here, and also in one of the little <coughs> journaling spots in there. Um, so I wanted to keep that, that kind of theme, so I didn't cover it up <coughs> with any embellishments. But if you wanted to keep a nice pattern piece like this on show, or put some embellishments on the top page then you would end up with I think 14 that space for 14 pictures so let's see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14 yeah 14 <clears throat> and I think I did add so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 flaps there and I think on the original one there were 7 on the original tutorial um, but I did have trouble actually getting it spaced out exactly like she had it spaced out there um, so I just moved them about a bit and popped another one in okay so I've used a little um, dragonfly charm here and this is what's holding the chain and stopping it I've got a jump ring there which stops it from pulling through and to make it a little bit more decorative I popped the little dragonfly charm on the inside. I've also got a charm on this pocket here that I made um, just hanging off. I just made a little little hole, put a little small eyelet in there, threaded it through a jump ring and I'm just hanging this, this little shell from it here. And I did have a seahorse there as a charm as well at one point but it kept flipping over and I didn't like it so I took it off. Okay and then this pocket has got various um, spaces in it for things. So at the back, I've got three tags, and these were just cut from the, the um, tag sheet. Um, I just cut them out loosely, uh, glued them to some ivory card stock, and then just cut around them. Okay, so you've got some nice journaling spots there with those tags stuck on the back there and as I say I've just edged them with uh, with walnut stain distress ink this one's got the little dragonflies this one has a collection of shells and you've got the ship's anchor on that one and then so that is in the the back back pocket and then in the front of that as you can see those were 
those went in this pocket behind here and I've just realised I've made a small mistake there I haven't put any design paper in here so that when you pull those out the um, the ivory cardstock shows so I will s stick a little sliver of um, design paper in there later and then I've got two quite large um, photo mats here these measure three and three quarters by well by almost five actually just a smidgen under five so you can fit a, a nice size photo on there um, and these are kind of vintage bathing beauties so to speak um, so this one with quite an old-fashioned costume there and this one here is the one that I coloured this image on the front to kind of echo she doesn't match exactly this one's got obviously her hair tied up with this bow and she's got a, a blue flower on the side but I did colour it to you know to fairly well match and then in the next pocket we have um, a couple of these are like sentiments and I thought they would make really nice journaling spots so this one says some people see more in a walk on the beach than others see in a trip around the world and there's plenty of space for journaling there and then here ocean treasures left on the shore nature's gift to adore and again plenty of space for journaling there and then in the last pocket right at the front there's a little ticket uh, that I again I stuck on some cardstock and cut out and this um, picture of a group of, of girls bathing in the sea in the old-fashioned costumes there and again there's space for journaling there or you could use these instead if you wanted to for smaller um, photographs so lots of room for journaling and photographs um, obviously nothing like as much as in a mini album but if you just had a small trip you wanted to keep a few a few mementos of, you know, a few photographs and a few bits to remind you about the trip. It could be a day trip or a weekend or something like that. Um, this project would be absolutely perfect for that. And it was really, really fun and easy and quick to make. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I have put a link to the tutorial that I followed down below and there is again a link to my blog if you want to check out some photographs or check out the products that I use. Thanks very much for watching. If you like, please subscribe. Bye bye.